These are the scenes on Sri Lankan's televisions which of course shock across the nation. At least six players from their cricket team and their British assistant coach were wounded in a gun attack on their bus, which also killed five policemen and a bus driver. It happened as they approached the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore in Pakistan, where they were to take part in the test series. The Sri Lankan president cut short his three-day visit to Nepal when he heard the news. That's a sad day for cricket. And above all, we from Sri Lanka condemn all forms of violence. And particularly when violence is directed at a sporting team and a national team that is renowned, we are further saddened by this by this unfortunate incident. The father of injured cricketer Tharanga Parana Vedhana was appalled the incident had happened in Pakistan. We feel very hurt that this kind of thing happened in another country because in a country like Sri Lanka, when the situation was even worse, foreign teams toured the country and left without any problems. A former Sri Lankan cricket captain questioned why the team had been allowed to travel to Pakistan in the first place when its high security risk was well known. We all knew that there are, there are so many security problems in Pakistan and after Australia and India refused to come to Pakistan, I don't know why we wanted to uh, uh, send a cricket team to Pakistan. The incident is now being discussed all over the country, with many condemning Pakistan for allowing it to happen. This is a terrorist act. The Pakistan government must take responsibility for this. Sri Lanka says none of the injured squad members were in a serious condition and they were all due to be brought back to the Sri Lankan capital, Colombo. Penny Tweedy, Reuters. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.